Hi guys, welcome back to another CryptoTab tutorial. This tutorial is going to look at the process of smoothing tracking data with inside Nuke, okay? Um, so what we've got is we've got a slider shot here of this little teddy bear. All I've done just to show you the tracking is I've changed the colour of one of his eyes, just with a grade node, so if I disable that, you can see that this eye here just changes colour. And so I've, I've motion tracked a um, roto node, so these roto nodes are linked to this tracker that we've got going on here and we've got a smooth example and a non-smooth example. I would play the difference between the two of them, but it, the difference is so small, I'm actually gonna go through the process with you. So this footage will be made available to you guys. Step one, um, like I've gone through in previous motion tracking tutorials, um, step one, basically take your footage, use a write node and write out a TIFF sequence, okay? I put, I turn the compression to none, um, but if you if you don't understand how to do that, then check out my write node tutorial, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive on in. Okay, so I don't wanna go through the whole process of motion tracking and then showing you how to set up the roto and how to set up the grade. Um, basically, um, if you don't know how to do motion tracking, check out some of the earlier tutorials in the series. But what I've got is I've motion tracked this, this eye by here, so I've just drawn a motion tracker around it, and I've motion tracked it through. I've got a non-smooth example and a smooth example here, so they're the exact same setups, but within tracker 5 and tracker 6, same tracking data, but there's slightly, ever so slightly different settings. So before we kind of um, actually look at how to smooth it, um, what I've done is I've connected a merge to both of them, and then I've put the merge mode into difference. So it's gonna only show you pixels within here that are different. So if I view this, I'm gonna turn the gamma up as well. You can see um, that it's just the outside of this, um, as we scroll through, it's just basically shifting it by a few pixels. So the difference merge is showing us is showing us that there is a little bit of difference. The only pixels that will shine through are the pixels that are where there's differences between these two. So if I actually plugged A and B into the same node, nothing would actually show up because it's the exact same data. But you know that by plugging it into A and B, and I have turned the exposure up just to kind of show us because it was very light, you can see that these are the pixels where there's difference between them. So you, my non-smooth and smooth have got slight differences, but that that's it, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the non-smooth, we're gonna take a look at the tracker. So let's view our tracker, let's turn the exposure and gamma back down. Now double click, I've got this little motion tracking, uh, this motion tracker, okay? And it's not often that you'll actually need to smooth this, okay? Um, if you've got, sometimes if you've got a very, very shaky shot, um, sometimes that may be appropriate, but often it's on these slider shots. Because slider shots are literally left to right, um, it, they're, they're very, very smooth by nature, and so sometimes the tracker, if, especially if the footage has got a lot of digital noise in there, sometimes the tra tracker will jump up and down a little bit. Um, it doesn't actually happen that much in this one, um, but I am going to show you an example. See, it dips down by here, and because I know this is left to right, I'm not totally comfortable that it should have that much of a dip in it. Um, so what, what you can do, this is the non-smooth version, but if I come to the smooth version, so view the same tracker, or a different tracker, but it's got the same data. Now, if I go into the transform tab, you'll notice that I've got the ability, so tracker six, you'll notice I've got the ability for smoothing by here in the transform tab. So you've got T, R and S, T is to smooth the translation, so that's up, down, left, and right, your X and Y. You can also smooth the rotation and the scale, but I've only got one track in point because it's literally a one-point track left to right. So you can see I've got two lines in here. I've set my smooth in for translate just to one, okay? This red line, okay, the red line is where the actual motion tracker has traveled. So we know we've got a little bit of up and down jitter in here, which I'm not completely comfortable with because I know it is literally left to right. Um, so you can see that red line is where the tracker has traveled and because I've got my smooth translate on one it's got this secondary gray line which is normally directly on top okay but this is it's just smoothed out basically this transform is smoothed out your match move if I turn this translate down to zero this gray line is now going to match exactly on top of that red line so it basically it transforms in this case the roto to go down and then up and then across all, all that, follow the exact motion of the tracker. But 
because this because this roto is linked. But if you're not comfortable with that, and again, I would want to remove that little jitter, what you can do is just smooth out the rotation, so turn it to one, for example, and you can see it's not following exactly where the tracker was, it's taking an average of it, okay? You can turn this up to like five, for example, if you want to make it even more smoother. Um, but I don't I didn't see a need for that so I've set mine to one okay so it's very very minute the change so if we zoom out and let's come to where I know is a big uh, change so by here for example so let's view our grade on our smooth version and our grade on our non smooth version you can see as we go between the it doesn't move. It doesn't actually move that far. You can see if you look at the edge, there's a little bit of a change, um, but it's not. It's not that much. Okay. So that's just one way of smoothing out your tracks. So go into the tracker and smooth the translate the rotational scale just by inputting some numbers in here. Um, so yeah, I don't do it that often. I sometimes do it on really shaky shots and often on slider shots if there's a little bit of jitter in there, um, and I don't expect there to be jitter of up and down purely left and right. So that was a very short tutorial. Um, I just wanted to kind of um, walk you through that process and show you that because it can be quite helpful. It depends on the shot, whether it's going to help you or not. Um, you may want to kind of look at retracking if you're not getting the track that you want using the settings in here, which I go through in previous videos. Um, so yeah, just a little short one for you. Hope that helped. Um, give a comment, like and subscribe if it did. Comment what you want to see next. Check out some of our other videos and cheers for tuning in.